Hello YouTube, it's me KT and welcome to another video. Today is Saturday and it's just probably going to be a one day vlog just because of the way I'm filming it. I want to try filming a video where I just get more of my candid thoughts. You guys might not even notice a difference, but I will. <laughs> so hopefully you like it, even if you don't really see what it is. But um, I have been in bed all morning. I really just didn't have a lot of energy this morning but it's now like 10 or 11, it's probably 11, maybe even noon, and I'm gonna get out of bed, and well, I'm already out of bed, as you can see, but I'm gonna go make some breakfast. So I'll give you a POV. Oh my God, you see the static on the door? This camera is not very good at filming dark things. Like, even if there's good lighting, there's still, like, it just doesn't like dark colors, and since I'm a dark person, I'm constantly staticky, so there's just static all the time. I'm sorry, I'm, I can't, I can't. But I'm gonna be making eggs, bacon, and pancakes, and a matcha latte, because I just like to have a really good breakfast on the weekends. I'm going to dinner tonight, so I don't want to go buy breakfast, because I'm gonna be buying dinner. It's 10.30, by the way. So I got this box of teas because I wanted to try a different tea, but they're all green tea. It's all just flavored green tea. There was like one black tea in here, but it's all green tea at this point. I didn't know that when I bought it, but it's fine. So let's see what flavor matcha we're gonna have today. Maybe the Georgia peach, that could be good. It's kind of hard, cause like there's one like lemon, like lemon matcha that doesn't really sound appealing. Also all the boxes are these little triangles. It's really cute. That's not a triangle. What's that called? A triangular prison. I took fifth grade math. Fucking, oh my god. There's also like so much tea in here. I feel like I'll never finish this one, two, three, four, five, six. This Pentagon Nickel Prism. Wow. I feel like I'll never finish it. <laughs> but we're, we're making progress, progress. And then this is my matcha powder. Oh, everything is dirty. But a little matcha powder. And then, see. If it would focus, you would see. Okay, it's not gonna focus. Yep, they're all green tea. Also, I saw a TikTok that got reposted because I don't actually, I have a TikTok, but I've opened the app maybe three times. I'm very much not a TikToker, but it got reposted onto Twitter. And it was of this girl who made her British boyfriend tea. And she just like put all the tea ingredients in a cup, like water, sugar, tea bag, milk, all of it, and then put the cup in the microwave. And people were very upset <laughs> and I was like, no, like that's a little weird. Don't put tea bags in the microwave. That sounds bad. But as far as like heating up the water in the microwave, it's just hot water. Like I feel like it doesn't make a difference. But <clears throat> I have had stove tea like that my grandma has made with like the herbs and the cinnamon stick and all that. That's unmatched. That is a different experience. Like fresh herb tea as opposed to tea bag tea with like the cinnamon. I'm telling you something about cinnamon and tea. I don't know nothing about cinnamon, but I say all this to say, I did heat my water up in the microwave, but I just, I'm not getting a pot just to heat water from the microwave does the same thing. So I think I'm gonna start with the bacon. Today we are using uncured hardwood smoked turkey bacon. So today, the plan, I was originally uh, what is it called? Strawberry Peak, which is a hike in the Los Angeles National Forest. You know, Strawberry Peak is an hour and a half from my house. And so I've been putting it off for a really long time. But yesterday I was like, okay, me continuing to wait to do this hike isn't gonna make it come any closer to the house. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go because it's a great hike. Oh, so I forgot to tell you what we actually are doing. Let's change the camera angle. I need to see you get bored. So I can't go on my Strawberry Peak hike, so I was gonna just do like a regular hike around my house. But it's kind of cold today and I'm really tired, my bones hurt, like I kind of just wanna stay in the house. So instead, I'm gonna work on some, some personal projects, which I'll explain when I get there. And I'm going to probably do some reading, because I have a book that I want to finish at this point. And like we're kind of just gonna chill until six. It's my mom's birthday. So I have to call her. I don't really like phone calls, but she does, and it's her birthday, so I, I don't really have a choice. 
so it would seem. And you know what? I kind of feel like I want to just call her right now so that I can just get it out of the way and move on with my day because I really don't like phone calls and I'm going to like agonize over it if I don't just do it. So let us call my mother. I'm good. I need to call and say hi to the birthday girl. I tend to make things more trouble than they actually are. Like the phone call was fine. I had no reason to be all concerned and up in arms about it. And then I heard that I think it's IHOP makes their omelets with like a little pancake batter in them to make them fluffy. So I'm gonna like whip my eggs in the same bowl that I made the pancake mix in to get like fluffy eggs. <laughs> Hello you guys. It's editing me tuning in again. I honestly have no idea what I was thinking when I was filming this video. I have what is it? 20, 30 minutes of footage of me making my breakfast. Why? I'm just rambling about nothing. Why did I film all of this? I have absolutely no idea. I thought that we were going to do like a raw, real, uncut, like you and me, friends, best buddies moment, but I've cut down already 15 minutes of it into four minutes of film. Like I'm just saying nothing, doing nothing, wasting time, being annoying. Like I don't know why I filmed this video the way that I did, but I just can't deal with myself anymore. So it, we're just gonna like, let's move it along, okay? So let's just finish this breakfast really quickly. Cause like, what the heck am I doing? All I have is brown sugar because I make like brown sugar. It's, it, there's a thing called honey glazed salmon. What did you guys think of turning red? I just watched a review for it this morning. So it's kind of on my mind. The review was by Saber Spark fun youtuber if you don't watch him um turning red i thought it was really cute like a lot of people are saying they don't like the style of the film but i don't know why like they're saying they couldn't like get adjusted to the style but i'm like all these animated movies with all these different styles you really you really can't do it really eating. I'm stuffed. I'm being as stuffed as I am has led me back to bed. All right. <laughs> I want to give some commentary on some of the Love is Blind season two contestants. Why? The, you're not focused on anything right now, babe. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, girl, it's gonna be blurry. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Okay, so we have these two, Shayna and Kyle. So first of all, I'm on episode five or six, so spoilers. So first of all, Shayna had absolutely no business saying yes to Kyle, and we all know that. She had zero reasons to do that other than that. Other than that, Shane didn't want her. Next, did she ever even discuss religion with Shane? Like, religion seems to be her excuse and her reason why she can't go with Kyle, but... It hasn't come up. You've never even heard of one. Then we have these two. And this girl, what's her name? You know, say. This girl irritated me because the man, I really don't know who their names, but the man confronted her one day and was like, it seems like you want to get with your rat. It seems like you don't really like me. And that was 100% the case. That is exactly what she said in confessionals. But somehow she twisted it around on him not getting her the right color ring. Delusion. But she seems into him now, but I wish she would have just been honest and been like, yeah, I had my doubts, but you know, I feel better about it now and I'm more on her side. Like I just didn't appreciate the lies. Then we have these two. 
Shake and Dupes. Dipty, lovely, nice, sweet girl. Cute, a little, a little unaware, but a cute, sweet girl. Shake seems so ingenuous. Every time he talks, I feel like he's lying. Every time. And then I don't, like, okay, sexual attraction works a certain way. You're not gonna be into everybody, but look at her. Tell me she's not cute. I'll wait. I'm waiting. I just, I don't, he's giving fake. Every word he says, I'm just like, this man is on some bullshit and I know he's gonna leave her at the aisle. I already know. Jared and Ayana? Yes. Jared and Ayana. Now, I wish that they would just talk about Valerie. I think that was her name. I wish they would just talk about her. They seem to be avoiding her. And so then Ayana like slips in these little pieces of insecurity and I'm like if y'all would just talk about it and really put it out there we wouldn't have to do all of this. I feel like a lot of these couples really struggle with communication and there is a psychologist I watch, um, Dr. Kirk Honda on YouTube. He has podcast psychology in Seattle where he reacts to romance shows. If he reacts to season two I'm gonna be there because these couples have horrible 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 communication skills. Most of their communication style is to just not talk about anything and it's really annoying. And then we have Shane and Natalie, really cute couple but Shane is crazy. Um, he likes to create issues that don't exist. He likes to just stir the pot for no reason. He can't take a joke. He can't take a joke to save his life and Natalie is a jokester so they're, they're in trouble in that sense but they're really cute. Don't know their names but in this couple the girl is this crazy one. She creates issues out of nothing. No issue will exist. Nothing will happen. Literally nothing will happen. Like absolutely nothing. Like not even, like the wind didn't even blow. Nothing happened. And she gets mad. And he's always like, what the hell? <laughs> but it's very reasonable. Like she just creates issues out of her imagination. Like nothing happened. One more thing I need to say, Nick, this guy, he is such a freaking drama queen and like, I love it. I'm here for the tea, but he literally, like anytime anything happens, he's the first one to report on it. He got all the opinions, like he is a drama queen. Okay, so I could keep watching Love is Blind, but I actually have other things that I want to accomplish today. So what we're gonna do instead is work on some storyboarding and I will explain why while I set up my little stations. I've been trying to pull together a storyboarding portfolio. Um, I know a lot of jobs don't require a portfolio, but for like artistic stuff, like graphic design that I do right now, and storyboarding, you need a portfolio. You need something to be able to show them like, hey, I know how to do this. I'm a I'm a good already girly like so I don't have a story portfolio, really I don't. Um, my college education and story was really bad, so I didn't learn much of value. So I'm trying to build one up myself. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm doing three to six master studies and then a a portfolio not a portfolio Christ a storyboard based on that genre. So yesterday, two days ago. I did a master study on an, a scene from The Office with Jim and Pam. Today I am probably going to do something from the Mindy Project, Danny and Mindy at the Empire State Building. I have a little list. So I'm just doing these master studies just to see what shots they use and how I can utilize those in my own work and like just kind of learning why they build scenes the way that they do. And I'm able to discover really interesting stuff in the master studies. Like, I really wouldn't think that it would be all that great because it's just like, you know, a bunch of medium shots you know, over the shoulder, like, it's not crazy. But if you really stop and analyze it and think about it, there's a lot of brain work. So, what I do is I watch the scene and, you know, just watch the scene. And then I will watch it back again. And as I watch it, I will draw the different frames of the scene and write down what sh kind of shot it was in like a you know what purpose did the shot serve so like you know an establishing shot and then I'll write what kind of shot it was in the sense of what like camera angle was it so like a wide shot which shows you know head to toe and then I'll write why they used that how that shot made you feel how it applied to the situation blase blase so this is the one 
that I did for the scene in the office. Just drawing the major shots and a little explanation as to why I think they used that shot. So let's get into it for today. Well, I think we earned our sangria tonight. By the way, I don't have any money, so I'm just... Okay. So this is pretty much the first shot. Right, we got the boat, Jack, he's on the boat, it's moving, the camera's moving the other way. This is the first shot, so now I'm gonna draw it. This is what I drew, very simple, very basic, just a sketch to get the idea down. And I wrote that it was an establishing shot, technically a wide shot, it creates dynamic motion, um, and it sets the scene, and it foreshadows the future scene with Jack and whatever her name is, I don't know her name. Jill, I don't know her name. Uh, so it it's foreshadowing and it sets the scene and it kind of prepares us for what is to come and it makes you feel, I don't really know how it makes me feel. It doesn't make me feel anything, but maybe I'll have an answer for it later. Anyways, I wanted to discuss the reason why I'm doing this. And that is that I recently watched Turning Red, as I talked about in the beginning. Oh fuck, I watched Arcane. I've just been watching more animation. And it has been very inspiring, very motivating. I've also been thinking about making a short film, though I don't have an idea, so it's not anything that I'm like doing, doing. But in thinking about that, I've been watching other people's short film videos, people's videos about film, and just learning about that. And it's all been very inspiring. And I felt like, I feel like I'm more of a story person. And I feel like there are lots of stories that I need to tell and that I want to participate in and want to be a part of. Like if I could have played a part in like the making of Encanto or the Spider-Verse or Arcane or Owl House or just so many amazing animated properties that are popping up, I would have loved that. I recently watched as well Spider-Man no Way Home, Far From Home, Into Home, this, well, the, the latest one. And I know it came out a long time ago, I normally, but I just watched it. And that movie was one of those movies that I thought about after it was over. I think about the situations that the characters are in, what more could happen in their story, what's next, what happened that they didn't show us, how they feel, the, like that level of just engrossment in a story and then of a book or a TV show or of something, just getting so deep into it that even after it's over, I'm still thinking about it and I'm still like building ideas in my head on it. And it's like, I relate to it, but I also just imagine so much from it and like, just enjoy engaging with its story and with its characters and with the world that it created. That is something that I wanna do for people create that feeling that I've had all my life and I don't know if everybody really feels that way or feels that strongly about media um, but I do and I just think that there's although I'm not like saving lives I feel like there's a different kind of value in creating stories that represent people that people can relate to that make people think that make people happy that make people sad that just inspire and like get your imagination and your juices flowing and give you something to react to and enact with that isn't your everyday life i feel like there's value in that and i don't want to just hang that up without ever trying it so yeah i'm going to charge my camera battery and do some work and i'll get back at you guys probably when i'm getting ready or when i'm done with this yeah apparently i was recording for too long <laughs> my camera didn't cut me off Okay, so one problem, one small problem with this outfit. Let me show y'all. Ew, I hate when my lips do that. When I tell y'all that this top is short, it is shorter than my bra sometimes. And I don't wanna be looking like a hoochie mama with my bra coming out the bottom. But if I put the bra where it's supposed to go, then it slips out the bottom of the shirt. So I guess I have to tuck it like that. That doesn't really look right, but I don't have many other options. Okay. Fragrance. I have 
three purses in the running for best in show. We've got the little black, which I feel like isn't really doing much. We've got the snakeskin, which is cute with the top, but the shoes make it too much. And we've got the brown Louis. Hmm. I don't I don't like the brown Louis. I think I'll just go for the little black. I'm not in love with it, but it's it's fine. Like the gunk out from inside my lips and then let me show you how I do my little red lip. Because my lipstick is in this purse. Is the Revlon cherry something or other? Black cherry. So with my Vaseline well applied. You know, fly just in the center. And move it around. And there she is. So now, all we gotta do is finish up my hair and pack my purse. I'll go ahead and pack my purse while I'm standing here. Okay, so you take the old purse, you remove the key. essentials bag and my keys I organize the lanyard so that if ever I need to make the amount of stuff that I'm holding smaller I can just remove this part okay and it gives me my keys and my car keys and my house keys I lose my mace but I'm going out with friends so I don't think I need it and they don't often let you bring it into clubs like bars and stuff, so I wouldn't be able to use it anyway. I think it's also very ghetto that you cannot bring mace into a club because I feel like leaving the club is quite the situation where I would need mace, but okay. Um, then we pack from the essentials bag my lotion, my like IDs and, and cards, and my wallet, <laughs> a little lip balm. Mm, I don't think I need anything else. I have like allergy meds and ibuprofen and stuff in here, but I don't think I need it really. So that's all for that. And just like that, the bag is packed. So let me show you all the whole set. You can get the full, full pack chart. Let me ring. I don't know what y'all are seeing. The viewfinder is too far away. <laughs> Hopefully this is my model for through my But let's go do my hair real quick. A little bit more shimmer. The shoulders are good too. Get shine, baby. These are still damp, but I don't really I don't have a choice. Let's go with it. So because they're damp, I'm going to put a little oil in my hands just to make my hair a little bit more cooperative. Grapeseed oil is my hair's favorite. We'll start in the back. I just wanted to like redefine my curls a little bit because in fluffing out my hair, I like kind of deleted a lot of my definition. And I was fine with that, but just redefining it on the top and framing my face. Do I really want to blow dry it? I don't. That's a lot of work and I don't care. Sometimes ladies, you just gotta realize that you don't actually even care. <laughs> See, look how fluffy this is. Yes. It's giving a much better shape than what I had this morning. Right? Isn't it? It is. And I could like gel it down, but I think I'll just pin it in the hair. You see, we just got a little bit of flatness there. Yeah, so that's my hair. I think it's cute. It would be a little better if this actually had dry, but it's fine. We love her volume level. It's so big and fluffy. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> so it is 5.25. I'm supposed to leave at 5.30, so this is perfect. Because hopefully I can get there a couple minutes early and have time to find parking. that's it for me getting ready hello gang it's nighttime I know the quality is gonna be horrible but I'm home and I want to talk I want to talk so let's talk 
know how I plan. I'm a little tipsy. The second wave came for me. So I'm a little tipsy dipsy, but we're gonna just act like that's not happening. I'm undressing right now. I I'm still wearing stuff, but I'm about to not be wearing stuff. So let's just chat while I do that. I didn't film anything because I just, I, I don't know. But I had a really great time. I was really annoyed at first because it was so freaking loud. I don't know what is up with restaurants and establishments playing the loudest freaking music, like turning the volume all the way up. Like this isn't a club. This is dinner. We want to talk to each other. Um, but we did get a table outside. It was cold. So I had to wear my jacket. You couldn't see the, you couldn't see the outfit. The girls know I was cute. They know that in their heart and hearts. And also look at my hair. Look how big it got. It's so cute. I told y'all to trust the process. <laughs> Mm. Mm. I am in fact tipsy. Yes, that is true. I remember that every time I spin in a circle. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I should do. I envisioned myself being tipsy tonight. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll have a glass of wine when I get home. But it turns out it's unnecessary. Also, my friend bought me, I had a, um, I had a Moscow mule. My friend bought it for me. And she bought me my food last time we went out. And so she seems to be, sometimes I have really giving friends. Like I had one in Georgia in particular who was just very, very, like my iPad that you guys saw earlier. She gave me this for $50. That's not what an iPad costs. So sometimes I have very giving friends and I'm stingy. Like if we're, I'm looking at myself in the fishnets with no pants. Could be a sex thing, but I don't really think. I don't really think it's doing much for me. Anyways, I, I'm stingy with my money. So if you, as a friend, spend money on me and then want me to spend money back on you, it's not going to happen. Like, I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not my thing. But she's been, like, doing a lot. And I don't like to have really giving friends and not give anything back. Because, like, like, why are you... Like, come on. It's got to be 50-50. So I want to get her a gift. I would rather get her a gift than buy her food or buy her a drink. Didn't know why. That just seems like a better plan to me. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna get her. I don't know what she wants. <laughs> we are going clothes shopping tomorrow. So maybe if she finds something she really likes, I can get it for her. Maybe. But that's not. Like, that doesn't feel like a gift because I didn't pick it out. That just feels like me buying her her shit. You know. Like, I gotta pick it up and then just throw it at her. And she'd be like, what's this for? I'm be like, it's because you bought me a drink. She's gonna be like, you don't have to pay me back for that. And I'm gonna be like, but I already did. So what now? <laughs> Is it obvious to you guys that I've been drinking? I feel like I honestly act... Like, when I'm tipsy, I feel like I'm different in my brain, but not really different in reality. And when I'm drunk, like, I know I'm a mess. I know I'm a mess drunk, but tipsy, I don't think I'm that big of a deal. I also know when I'm drunk. Some people are afraid to admit it, but I know when I'm drunk, I know when I'm tipsy. I don't really have a buzz. I just skip straight from sober to tipsy. <laughs> There's no, like, it just, I'm sorry, it doesn't happen. <laughs> All my windows open. So any cars that drive by are about to see me, my bra, might see me topless. Enjoy the show. I'm, I'm the naked neighbor for the night. I should not put that on YouTube. <laughs> I, like at the beginning, I felt like I was sticking to my friends too much. So I moved my chair over to the girls who I don't like talk to. This is my second time hanging out with them. So I moved my chair over to them, who girls I don't talk to as much. I ended up inviting them to Tulum. I don't really... Because I wanted to invite them the first time I met them. But I was like, first of all, we just met. Second of all, I'm drunk. Like, let me actually think this through. And then I thought it through and I still wanted to invite them. And it was like, Kayla, this is your second time meeting these people. That's not like socially acceptable, but I did it anyway. So if they think I'm weird, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just like them. I think they're cool. They're fun. It's giving Bestiana energy. Oh, and there's this other girl who I've only ever met once as well, but that was at a different time. She came 
and like everybody else in my group has been clicking with her but i haven't but she came and we had a good talk and like i don't talk much so i kind of have to be friends with extroverted like talkative maybe out there people so that they can kind of say something because i don't talk much. but like with her she was really good at keeping conversation going even though i can tell she's kind of like me and she doesn't talk that much but she just has that talent so i was able to like really have some good chats with her and my goal is to like find something to text the girls about this week so we can just have a little casual conversation so you know i'm making friends <laughs> and i have a friend circle bigger than three who is she who is she cam the teeniest bit nauseous but not like oh my god i'm drunk i'm gonna throw up nauseous i had one moscow mule it's just like you know when you're tipsy and you just move too much like that but i also want to dance which is another like tipsy trait of mine but but i find when i move i get drunker so if i start dancing like i'm gonna end up wasted even though i haven't had any more alcohol probably, like this probably got something to do with like blood flow and like moving the alcohol through your system i don't know but i don't need to get drunker so i'm just gonna drink some water and sit down i don't drunk text people i would never well not never but it's very unlikely that i'm gonna pick up the phone drunk and say something to you that i wouldn't have said anyways very unlikely but i like using my tipsiness as an excuse because i know people drunk text so if i want to text someone but i'm like oh i shouldn't double text them or oh we haven't talked in a while or oh this or oh that i'll just say well i'm tipsy so it doesn't matter and i'll just tell them like when i'm tasting them like, oh i had a glass of this that and the third and then i'll just say whatever i wanted to say and it gives me that freedom so i'm not like i'm not gonna drunk text my ex or anything like that's just really not my type i might though that's a lie i've actually done it before but i don't do it often <laughs> i become less and less functioning the longer this clip goes on i don't know if you guys can tell but this alcohol is really like hey girl i just wanted to let you know that i'm in your system so it's like, look how fucking cute I am. Have y'all seen me? I don't know if y'all have seen me. Look at me. Look. Look. Tell me I'm not stunning and gorgeous and you want to marry me. Tell me. I'll wait. I will wait for you to lie to this camera. I hope, not I hope. I'm a fucking bad bitch. I know what I'm doing and I know that I can replicate this. So I'm going to make my hair look like this again for the week so that I don't have to look raggedy at work. I'm gonna heat up this food, eat it, drink some water, text my people, admire my hair for a bit, drink some more water, and then go to bed. I had a really great time tonight. Happy I got to talk to the girls more, especially the ones that I don't know that well. Um, made some interesting decisions, but all in all, like, good time. Good time. I didn't film anything, but just trust. It was great. How many growth is that? That's three. That is seven people. Eight. Eight people who I've like hung out with and like attempted to make friendship connections with since moving here. Who am I? Who am I? Let's see. My one year will be in June. So, you know, February, March, April, May, April. What's 12 minus 3, 9. Who am I? I made eight friends in nine months. Who am I? It's giving social butterfly. Because <laughs> I've been, to those of you who don't know, I've been making videos since college, back when I had legit zero friends who lived in my city. Who am I? Tell me who I am. Because I don't know. I don't, the fact that, like, I was thinking about my friend coming over. For, we're supposed to do a Grand Canyon trip, but she's like kind of going to be here for Coachella, so she might stay with me, she might stay with another girl, not really sure, but if she stays with me, literally the thought that I could be with her one night and be like, hey, get ready, get dressed, we're going out with my friends, who am I? That I have friends that I'd be going out with, who am I? I'm just like fluff it up and have a be. it's so fluffy, chow, 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 I'm supposed to stop talking, I'm supposed to stop talking. I will see you guys in the next clip, okay? I have to figure out what I'm cooking for the week so I can order my groceries. I really don't want to. 
But if I don't do it, I'm gonna be mad. But I literally don't want to. Like, I'd rather choke. <laughs> okay, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Toodaloo. Well, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and click on some of my links as they appear on the screen. Did you guys know that I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year? And did you know that we have been reaching our milestones every single month? Please don't let this month be the month that I miss it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and add yourself to the team because if you're not in the subscribe button, you're not on my chart of subscribers. If you're not on my chart, that's humiliating. It's really embarrassing and I don't want that for you. Just go ahead and hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. I upload every Saturday. Till then, do it. Let me get a thumbnail for that.